y'all like my hair is so dirty oh my god I don't mean to start off the video like this but your girl has been going through it and so has her hair I haven't been feeling well okay and when I don't feel well I don't do crap to my hair as you can see my roots are poofy the front of my hair is picky I used the iron a few weeks ago so like it's like dead curls that are like stiff and some parts are shiny some parts are dry so right now today I'm just gonna make a mask with whatever I have in the house I need to stop putting off washing my hair, okay? I have to get it done. And I have to do something to bring it back to life because it's been straight for a while now, okay? It's been straight for a while and I need to I need to get my curly hair back. I need to make sure everything is in place. So if you guys want to see the mask that I created to do that, just keep on watching. All right, beauty, so jumping right in. This is the lineup that I have for this hair mask. You're going to need one avocado, preferably a ripe one. Coconut milk. You're definitely going to need some coconut milk. As you're going to notice, I do not have coconut oil in this hair mask. So for my girl, that are protein sensitive this is a mask for you next up we have some avocado oil one of my favorite oils to use in a hair mask by far and then next up we have some black castor oil this one is from Benjamin's I think I got this from a beauty supply store and next up is a newbie it's apricot oil apricot oil has so many benefits for your face for your skin for your hair for your nails so you know we had to add this bad boy in the mix next up you have extra virgin olive oil y'all know this is a staple at reversing damage damage in your hair and just bringing your hair back to life and last but not least my most valuable player in this concoction aloe vera gel aloe vera juice aloe vera leaf whatever part of the aloe vera you decide to use you will not go wrong so i'm basically cutting up the aloe vera leaf i actually cut it in half because i decided not to use the whole thing this time around and i mean y'all see me do this plenty of times on my channel and i don't know about you but there's something so satisfying about about seeing aloe vera gel like separate like the gunk the gooiness like I just can't get enough all right so on to cutting up the avocado I'm just slicing it in half breaking it apart and then just taking it out the skin like you know de shelling it whatever you want to call it and I'm breaking it up into a bowl to add it to my ninja blender along with the aloe vera gel that you just saw me cut up all right so first I'm blending the aloe vera gel and once I'm done I'm just gonna strain it over the avocado bowl and get rid of that nasty pulp that tends to get stuck in our hair. Um, and this is basically the process I'm doing. It can get tedious, but you know, you could just use the flick of the wrist to speed up the process. And that's the nasty gunk we do not want in our hair. So be sure to strain your aloe vera before you add it to your hair. So once you're done, you just want to add the mixture back to the Ninja Blender. And then you want to finish adding the rest of your ingredients. So I'm starting off with a full fat coconut milk. And that's my little can opener. Isn't it cute? It's a little bunny. And it makes life so much easier from the traditional can opener which I hate using so yeah I'm just adding the coconut milk to the mixture at first I wasn't gonna add the whole can and I probably shouldn't have because it was actually really watery but um then I added one fourth cup of extra virgin olive oil followed by one tablespoon of apricot oil and then one teaspoon I believe of black castor oil See what I mean? It's a lot more liquidy than I would like. Usually in my mask I like it a little bit thicker, but the coconut milk kind of made it a little bit watery, so I have to do some adjustments to perfect this hair mask. But you know, it came out still hydrating, moisturizing, which is what we love. Um, I made a lot, so I decided to store some in a container to put in the freezer. This is a great way to um, just store your mask when you want to use it again, instead of having to make a new batch every single right, time. Please welcome back to my bathroom. We are about to get this last minute mask situation situated. So as you guys can see, like my hair is just looking real greasy, weighed down, and it just looks Looks like dead waves so I'm actually gonna start off with my hair scalp treatment I don't know what else to call it but it's specifically for my scalp because my scalp is on fire okay so I have my little concoction in my bottle and I'm just gonna spray my scalp all right so we got the scalp nice and right now we're gonna start applying my hair mask as I'm like adding the mask to my hair, like my hair is just shedding. <laughs> Y'all, if I have heat damage, I'm gonna cry. Yes. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's 
so far all my curls are coming back to life my hair is still a bit tangled I probably should have detangled my hair before I added this but I'm really trying to be quick with this because it's really late there are my beautiful curls coming through Oh, guys, I don't know. I don't know. Oh shoot, I forgot the freaking hair scalp spray. I'm like, why is my scalp on fire right now? One second. The curls. Oh, they all, y'all all here. They're not, they're not looking tempered. That's what's up, yo. I was so nervous. You guys don't know how happy I am to see you right now. Honestly, I need to start straightening my hair myself again. So hairdressers be grimy. You be like, yo, I want my hair straightened and your hair is like literally damaged. And they won't say shit. They'll still straighten your hair just because they want that coin. So listen, be careful who you let straighten your hair. All right, you guys, so this is a quick side by side. So you guys can see how my hair has reverted from straight to curly. like the front of my hair has successfully reverted back to curly I mean what do y'all think I feel like my curls are a little bit looser than usual or maybe I'm tripping I don't know I haven't seen my curls in so long I done forgot what they look like Whew, that was a lot a girl is tired okay I'm just gonna show you what my hair is looking like from all angles so you can decide whether or not you see any signs of heat damage let your girl know all right you guys so that brings me to the end of this video as you can see my straight hair has reverted back to curly successfully so clearly if your hair is in a damaged state or just going through it this hair mask is for you try it out let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below i love you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye